The 16-bit era of video games remains my absolute favorite era of games even now in 2019. The battles between the Super Nintendo Entertainment System and the Sega Genesis were hard fought and we are still talking about which side won the war. One of my favorite discussions is which system had the best role-playing games. While I think both systems have some of the best RPGs ever created, today I want to specifically look at those appearing on the Genesis. But before we get to the top 10 list, here are some honorable mentions. Shining in the Darkness A solid dungeon crawler and the first game in the beloved Shining series, Shining in the Darkness was a great dungeon romp. Boasting beautiful graphics and a great soundtrack, the game was unfortunately also marred by essential grinding and a lack of an in-game map. Despite this, the game is still pretty solid in the modern age. Light Crusader When most people talk about treasure games on the Genesis, voices usually shout Gunstar Heroes and sometimes Dynamite Heady. Action adventure title Light Crusader is often forgotten except by the most hardcore of RPG fans. The game boasts great graphics, a huge dungeon, and some great music. Too bad the gameplay itself is a little bit uninspired. The Immortal Hey, is this even really an RPG? Well, there is no leveling up per se, you do learn spells, crawl a dungeon, and blow up goblins. Whether you consider the Immortal an RPG or not, it's certainly RPG adjacent, and this haunting game deserves a couple of attempted playthroughs. The Dark Souls of the Genesis. Crusader of Senti. The term Zelda clone is bandied about often enough, but it's the perfect term to describe Crusader of Senti. While somewhat generic, the game does boast beautiful and colorful graphics and a host of cute animal sidekicks. If you are looking for a decent hack and slash on the Genesis, you may enjoy this little title. And now that the honorable mentions are out of the way, it's time to touch on the cream of the crap, the bottom of the barrel, the utter dregs. Here are the dishonorable mentions. Fantasy Star 3. The first four Fantasy Star games are held in very high esteem. They have been lauded as some of the best RPGs Sega has ever released. But Fantasy Star 3 is definitely the weakest of these four games. Bland and uninspired graphics, dull and repetitive music, and a battle system that has somehow failed to grasp simple turn-based combat. PS3 is a game that you can safely skip. And now, without further ado, Digital Poutine's Top 10 Genesis RPGs. Number 10, Fantasy Star 2. Landing in both Japan and North America in 1989, our number 10, Fantasy Star 2, is the oldest game on this list. Boasting a huge quest and multiple game worlds, PS2 is an early view of what would come on the Genesis. Great graphics, amazing music, and a character that is Aerith a whopping eight years before Aerith was Aerith, PS2 is an impressively large, if somewhat obtuse and grindy RPG. If you sit down to tackle this title, make sure you have maps, and make sure you have time to grind some levels. Number 9, Landstalker. Stalking in at number 9 is Climax Entertainment's sword-swinging action RPG, Landstalker. You take the role of roguish swordsman Nigel and embark on a quest to find the king's lost treasure. You fight monsters, solve puzzles, and travel across the landscape of a massive isometric world all in the name of gold. Due to the involvement of Climax Entertainment, some of the game's art, music, and thematic cues are similar to those found in the Shining series. If you are looking for a Zelda clone that actually builds on the tropes of the genre, Landstalker might be for you. Number 8. Dungeons & Dragons Warriors of the Eternal Sun Possibly the black sheep on this list, and definitely the one I could admit to being blinded by nostalgia on, Warriors of the Eternal Sun is an oft-ignored and overlooked hybrid RPG for the Sega Genesis. 
created by CRPG veterans Westwood Associates, Warriors of the Eternal Sun combines isometric tactical combat while on the map and CRPG first-person action RPG battles inside of the dungeons. You create your party from classic D&D first edition character classes and embark on an adventure to solve the mysteries of the strange new land you find yourself in. Also, best soundtrack in any game ever. Don't at me. Number 7. Shadowrun Our seventh best Genesis RPG is another overlooked gem, Shadowrun. This title is often overshadowed by the excellent Shadowrun release for the SNES around the same time. Most people do prefer the SNES Shadowrun due to its incredible characters and well-written story, but I like the Genesis version more as the gameplay is incredibly gripping. There are a large number of quests you can accept, which will see you travel around the game's apocalyptic landscape. There is a dense character upgrade system. There are many, many optional characters that you can recruit, and voyaging into the Matrix yields an incredible minigame that could have been a full game on its own. Number 6. Monsterland 4 Our number 6 is a game that, until recent years, was lamented as a missed classic. This incredible action RPG didn't see release in the West until 2012, when it was finally unleashed on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. Monsterland 4 is a lively and exciting action RPG platformer with tight combat and lush graphics. This was also the last game in the Wonder Boy slash Monsterland series, and while we had to wait a very long time to finally play it, it was definitely worth the wait. Number 5. Wonder Boy in Monster World Some of you may view this as being a contentious ranking, but our number 5 is the prequel to Monsterland 4, Wonder Boy in Monster World. Many Sega Genesis RPG players would ask, Why am I ranking Monster World before Monsterland 4? Simply put, the game's flirtations with the Metroidvania genre catapults the game far past Monsterland 4 for me. Add to this probably the brightest graphics of any Genesis game, and one of the best soundtracks in the series, and you have a recipe for a killer action RPG. Number 4. Beyond Oasis Our number 4 and the final ARPG on the list is Beyond Oasis. This action-packed brawler of an ARPG has you take the role of Prince Ali, Fabulous He, as he stabs, slashes, and kicks his way to victory. His default weapon is a dagger, but you find a host of other weapons like swords, bombs, and crossbows to help along the way. These additional weapons have limited uses, so you can't completely cheese the game with them. You also have the ability to summon elemental assistance with your magical armband. All of this and Yuzo Koshiro wrote the soundtrack. God damn. Number 3. Shining Force Taking the Bronze is a game that changed my life. Shining Force. One of the first and best tactics RPGs, Shining Force has it all. Colorful graphics, great character designs including huge battle sprites, massive and fun maps, a gripping and interesting story despite a less than stellar translation, and a soundtrack full of tunes so catchy you will be humming them for years to come. This game is definitely worth tracking down, and since it is on just about every single Sega compilation out there, it won't be hard or expensive to find. So go play it! Number 2. Shining Force 2 Surpassing Shining Force in every single category is the essential Shining Force 2. Bigger battles, better graphics, a longer campaign, every single pixel of Shining Force 2 is a monument to Sega at its highest peak. The game is truly a spectacle and still plays and feels great in 2019. Despite what Sega would tell you, the Shining series has been dead for years, but with fans and even the original developers clamoring for a new release, maybe the Shining Force will ride again. And number one, Fantasy Star 4. Our number one is the immense and immortal, gorgeous and exalted, hailed and revered, Fantasy Star 4, The End of the Millennium. 
It is an amazing send-off for an amazing series. PS3 may have stumbled, but PS4 writes the series for the dramatic finale. Graphics are wonderful with amazing comic book style panels delivering the story. How this unique style didn't catch on for other games still eludes me. In an era before cutscenes and in-game movies, this style should have been super popular. But since it didn't catch on, it just makes PS4 that much more unique. Couple this with well-developed characters, an amazing soundtrack full of memorable pieces, fast and tight combat, and several references to past games in the series, Fantasy Star 4 claims the throne of the best RPG on the Genesis. And that's that. What did you think of our list? Tell us your favorite Genesis RPGs in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow us on Patreon so we continue to bring you great content. Thanks for the support, we'll see you next time, and never stop being nerdy.